Every day should feel this good is the mantra on which our next guests built their business. 20 years ago, Ian and Shep Murray quit their jobs and sold colorful neckties based on life on the iconic beaches of Martha's Vineyard. Vineyard Vines is known for its colorful, preppy, summery style, but it's going in other directions as well. Ian and Shep Murray join us now to discuss what's new in their line of clothing and accessories. Hi, Ian and Shep. Great to have you hey, here. Hey, thanks yeah. for having us. First off, tell us a little bit about your personal stories. I think it makes a lot of people with desk jobs jealous. <laughs> oh, well, we're brothers, right. and uh, we were working in Manhattan, and uh, I had a, I had a uh, my, uh, what do you call it? Your review. Your my, my, my review, yeah, my review. And uh, my boss told me that I needed to think more inside the box. And I told Ian, and, and I quit. <laughs> Ian followed suit five minutes later, and uh, we had a couple of drinks on the bar car. When we were going back to Connecticut, where we were living in our parents' house, and uh, and we, the idea of Vineyard Vine was, was born. And that, of course, is based on your wonderful childhood summers spent on Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. But what did you know about the apparel business? I mean, that's a big leap. No, so we we really didn't know anything, and I think had we known something, we would have known it couldn't <laughs> have been done or something. But we found ourselves spending our summers on Martha's Vineyard, and a lot of people worked on Wall Street and Manhattan. They'd come up for the weekend, and we wanted something that they could wear to work that represented the vineyard and eventually Nantucket and other destination places. So you can't wear a T-shirt to work, particularly back then. So we made a great-looking tie. And it led to icons like fishing and lacrosse and sailing and, and things that people liked, what, you know, was considered the good life. Right. And, so uh, your ties were first. Yeah, yeah it was, with ties. The idea was really to bring icons of the good life to work with. Right. You. It was sounds and, great. You know, if you have to wear a tie, it may as well be a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. And this was at the you know the height of the dot com, where you know people not wearing ties was the thing. And so if everyone you, thought if you we were have crazy. To wear a tie, yeah. You better a make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So now, are those still your best sellers? The ties. Um, ties. We still do fantastic with right. ties. It's still a big part of our business. But um, you know, it's, here's some there's ties. There's some ties. Here. Yeah. ties. But we've really, right. we've really grown into a full lifestyle apparel brand. So we have something for the whole family. We're multi-generational. Show us uh, some examples of your look. Give us sure. an example of the iconic Vineyard Vines it, look. Sure. And you know, just the evolution from ties to clothes is, mm -hmm. we're like, why are we making people bring the good life to work with them? Why not help people dress for the good life? And so the idea of, of every day should feel this good is our mantra, it's our way of life. And so we wanna help people dress for that. And, and so what we did is after ties, we started making our, our iconic tote bag mm -hmm. uh, for women, which had our silk trim around it. And then we started dressing men, women, and kids. Fully, head to for, toe. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, the iconic look for us is really something that was appropriate 20 years ago and 20 years from now. So right. we say, you know, is this something that, that, that Kennedy would have worn had he been around today? Right. So we do a lot of like matching stuff for families for Christmas cards. So this so is, this is like part a, of your new line. Have you yeah. done holiday themed clothes? We before? have, you we have. have. Okay. Usually this time of year we start to drop stuff that people are wearing for holiday around Thanksgiving, Christmas right. and the holidays. And you've uh, seen a lot of growth in the women's and children's yeah, line? Yeah, it's, it's a big, big point of expansion for us and it's done really well uh it's a lot of fun that is really really guys good. very traditional yeah. right yes very yes traditional. so our uh, logo classics. is this is this uh, iconic whale smiling whale here's, yes. a, here's a little bikini we did so cute. for women we took our tie prints and you know transitioned them into are there suits. limits to the appeal of preppiness or do you think this could go global this is sort of east coast preppy it but is. is it do you sell it in the south do you sell, sell it yeah in fact we're world? almost bigger in the southeast than we are in the northeast oh, these really? days we've been ad adapted adopted by them this ship just handed me this this is a golf shirt but a lot of our clothes now almost all of them have some performance attributes as everyone does in, in the yes. in the apparel industry now to stay um, relevant. We have here like this is a this is a pair of women's denim but also you know lots can't of wear that at the Edgar Town <laughs> Country Club though. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then here if you want to go really over the top we just uh, announced that we're doing some shoes with Stubbs and Wooten at a Palm Beach. Uh, these are about as preppy as it gets. Those are great. Yeah they're Those pretty cool. Really they're great. fun. And they're yeah. a small brand out of, out of Palm Beach. And, right. And it just made sense. Two brands well, working together yeah. like that. Right, and I think, you know, you talked about preppy mm -hmm. and how do you evolve preppy. One of the things that we've done is we've taken all of the, the preppy uh, things that people have worn before, and Ian said performance, you know, for example, this, you know, this is moisture wicking, it's got stretch, it's quick drying. Right. Uh, it's it looks, it looks like that. the classic 
polo that everybody wore a long, long time ago. You know, we have variegated stripe, and then but it has the modern advancements of right. The new Same thing with these shorts. Yeah. They have right. you know bathing suit pockets, and they've, uh, got, they've an got anti stretch. wrinkle. I yeah. can tell that sort of doesn't wrinkle and, much. And and yeah. so when people try these on. They say, right. why, why would I ever wear cotton shorts again? Exactly. And so we've evolved our brand to have that classic look, but with today's uh, technology. Absolutely. So what about online versus brick and mortar stores? So, How are your stores doing? Yeah, so our stores are doing great. Everything, knock wood, you know. Yeah. It's a tough world out there, <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, we're managing to do really well. Yeah. Um, We've got our, our business really split into three categories. One third of our business is our uh, retail stores that we own, our brick and mortar. Um, we've got, we'll have about 100 by Christmas time. Wow. I think we've got 80 something open now. Um, then Any international? We have one in Bermuda. Oh, there you go. Yep, right. that's our first one. We're doing that because we're the official style of the America's Cup, which will be there in June of this year. So that's very exciting. Congrats. Uh, thank you. Another third of our business is our website and our catalog, our direct business. And then the other third is our wholesale business. So partners like Bloomingdale's uh, here in New York and Nordstrom, and then some of the better, especially mom and pop shops and golf courses. And right, sure. Shop. Yeah, I see them in the, in yeah. the pro shops. We're actually house. having a, a grand opening party tonight uh, in Grand Central uh, Terminal. Which we is have your store, New York City flagship. Which is our New York City flagship. Right. It's from 5 to 7. Everyone's invited. Yeah. So tonight, come say hey. Ian and I will be there we as will, well as we a lot will, of our team. Will. So is there any truth to the rumor that you guys might be selling a minority stake in the company? We've explored it. I think one of the things that has always been important to us, and we always set out to do this because it's really fun. Right. Um, and so if we were able to identify a partner that we think we could really work well with that would make... One of our corporate goals, our number one goal is to make Vineyard Vines a fun place to work. Right. And then number two is to make customers happy, and number three is to, to make money. Um, if we could find a partner that we think would be a really good fit and a cultural fit and make our business stronger and better for everybody, we're open to we'll, it. We'll, we're open to it. But we, have, we haven't, we, we haven't done anything Right, right, yet. right. So does every day still feel this good? It feels pretty good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so good, good to hear. Yeah. Ian and Chef, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you very much. Us. And that's your lunch break for today. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.